Hello HBO Max, Chainsaw Reacts here. On behalf of the entire fan base of Young Justice, we are patiently waiting for the Season 5 renewal of Young Justice. We're not sure what's going on with that, it should have already been announced weeks ago, but we are here asking for that renewal, so please give it to us, thanks. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today guys, of course, I'm here checking out the newest episode of Young Justice, Phantom's Young Justice Season 4. We are at the penultimate episode, the episode before the finale of this season, and I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this season, and, and please, like I was saying in the intro there, Season 5, come on. This is Season 4, Episode 25 of Young Justice, over and out. Everything that could have went wrong, went wrong. Someone commented that on my last reaction to episode 24 last week, saying everything that could have went wrong in this episode pretty much did, and they were not wrong. Zod, and assuming all of his forces, unless the team within the Phantom Zone, of course, Dick Grayson, you know, all of them, if they can figure out a way to close that portal, because they can get their own way out, without all of Zod's forces coming through, because he's already made it through and everything. And even Connor went through, of course, but all the cuts and stuff from that creature that has just been there, like as marks on his chest started bleeding out, and he passed out right next to him again. And he didn't want to go out and everything, but Zod and his wife reuniting with their son, that was the end of the episode. My God. I'm not prepared for this. I'm not because I'm assuming this episode's going to be insane. I'm assuming the next episode, of course, the finale of Young Justice Season 4 is going to be as insane as well. This show just continues to deliver on the storytelling, continues to deliver on new characters, continues to deliver on the tension. I'm not ready, but I have to get into this. So here we go, guys. Episode 4. Uh, episode 4. Season 4. I can't even talk. It is early in the morning. I'm still trying to wake up. Season 4, Episode 25. Over and out. Young Justice Phantoms. Let's get into it and see the shows, guys. Let's go. You claim to be our son. Yes. Oh, you claim. They don't know for sure yet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sorry, she broke through the. Oh! So he just sent through someone to go back to that portal, and the portal closes. Yep. We still have people in the zone. Exactly. He's taking two more with him. Of course he is. Oh, it took him there. Oh boy. He is alive. He's healing. Let well, I me mean, make sense. Not for long. Stop. Father, now his loyalty is only to Zod. Mm -hmm. My son, do you challenge the word of Zod? No. No. Uh... Of course you do, because you're on Earth now. Yeah, they were about to leave, and they're like, damn it, now we gotta stop them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not even himself, really, now. Hey! Okay, good. Now let's go. Let's go back to Earth. <laughs> Oh my god, why did you do that? Let's go. There's still hope that sure things may be okay. How you doing? Not good. Yeah, it's overwhelming. I'm relieved Connor's alive. Right yeah. now, That's the main important thing, besides taking out Zod. Have you heard from Zatanna? Damn. Kicking ass. Taking names. Oh, shit. Yeah. Phasing through. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't go through there. Oh! Oh, shit! You shouldn't have tried to fight him. What? 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 No, no, he's not dead. He's faking it. It's a trick. It has to be a trick, right? Tr please, 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 please. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they're fighting each other. <laughs> Build your rage, I guess. Oh, boy. That thing's back. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, my God. 
Doesn't matter. Who gives a shit how long you were sentenced? Oh! Oh! Still, we cannot allow ourselves to be distracted mm. even by this good fortune. It's about physics. You won't mm. have much time. You won't have much time, so don't get stuck in there. They made it. Where our weapons and limbs are solid. Oh shit, here it comes. Okay, his meat vision is going to become a problem. Yeah. The mother of Rock can no longer maintain the Fuck. That's not good, that's not good. The boom tool is collapsing. Yeah, yeah, so I want to move. Oh! Oh shit! What? Oh, they got out. Something happened right there. Oh my god. They didn't get out. Fuck. Ugh. My god. Though you are a son of El, you are also a son of Krypton. Kneel before Zod. Hell no. Hell no. It seems you're on your knees before me after all. Yeah, because you forced Kry Krypton out on him. See, he's still alive. You didn't kill him. So snap out of it. Place, boy. Shit, what's happening? They're just destroying shit. Okay. My god. I lay claim to this world in the name of Krypton. Mm. And the house of Zod is wisely chosen to serve. Oh, replacing it. At my side, loyal follower to slay his only brother. Prove you are loyal to the house of Zod. Fuck. Oh my god, don't do this. Don't do this, Connor. If he does this, I swear to god. After watching this episode, it is clear to me next week's episode, the finale of Young Justice Phantoms, Young Justice Season 4, is going to be insane. <laughs> because this episode was insane, and there's so many things that happen. I'm going to try my best to remember everything. Holy crap, guys. This episode just made me worried for the finale, too. Like, I'm worried stuff's going to happen that's going to be show-changing for Young Justice as a whole. Because things are going to happen that cannot be undone. That's my thinking. We'll see. Okay, so let's talk about the character deaths. I think one of them is a trick, and I think another one is kind of left up in the air. One, Nightwing. He should not. He should have ran back through the portal or something because him finding Zod's son was not smart and the blood coming from his head when everything crashed on him I I think he slowed down his heartbeat so that it seemed like he was at a dead I that's my guess he slowed down his heartbeat because I think he knows that trick from Bruce and he knows they were listening for a heartbeat because they're Kryptonian so they, they were able to sense that so he slowed his heartbeat down to basically to where it would be detected as him being dead that's my guess. You cannot kill Nightwing like that. At least, I don't think they would do that. I don't know, because I would think if they were to kill off Nightwing in the show, it would be a, just... I would hate that. But it would be a very game-changing moment for the show that they would do it probably in another way. I think it's a trick. For Rocket, I think that may... That may... I don't know, because I feel like with her with her force field that she can create, I feel like she would be able to survive with the boom tube basically collapsing in on itself, because that's that's what occurred. I feel like she's okay. It's probably not going to be revealed probably till hopefully next week's episode, but hopefully if we get a season five, if they don't reveal it next week's episode in the implication, because that credit sequence with the credits rolling, all the cars upside down, of course, her son loves doing that to cars. Um, that's kind of like how he likes to play the cards. So it was upside down. It was silence. Silence. So that, and the implication is that Rocket's dead. I don't think Rocket's dead, though. I think she's fine. It's just like she's just lost. We have to go find her. Or she'll come back. I'm not sure. We'll find that out. But that's just my guess. Okay. So, to the big ending thing there, and then we'll get to everything else. Zod, instead of listening to his son, who says, you need to kill... Superman and Connor, because they're both House of L, and, you know, we can't trust them, but we, we, they can't be around. I get his point in terms of what he believes is right. Obviously, I don't agree, but Zod's like, I have a better idea. He takes Superboy in his Cadmus Superboy outfit and then uses Emerald Empress, his wife, which we'll get to that in a second. What? 
but changing the uh, the insignia on his chest to Zod, House of Zod, instead of House of L. And then having Superman in the position, holding his head and neck, like he did in the vision he had when he was in the Phantom Zone, and he thought he killed Superman, which of course he didn't. Now he's holding him there, and he says, on my command, you are going to kill Superman. Of course it cuts and goes to credits, so we don't we won't see the outcome, but they had all these flashes of different stuff that Connor experienced through the Phantom Zone. Also, too, they had the image of Lex Luthor, and him. He starts to speak, but it's the it's the voice. Was it the House of Zod? <laughs> the voice of Zod, and then it cut, and then it transitions to Zod talking to him actually there on Earth. And so has him there, and he is going to wait for the command. And all these flashes of visions of obeying Zod and you know all this kind of stuff and basically him reverting back to his original form his Cadmus form where he's just basically a monster or he's you know as Black Lightning said a loose cannon especially with the enemy and that's true I don't know what's going to happen but my god (laughs) this is not good because you we thought everything was maybe going to turn a tide but no it didn't because they all get on the bio ship after the boom tube closed and everything, and they, they go to, of course, uh, Fortress of Solitude. Everybody gets up from being attacked, and they get on the bio ship. And I'm like, okay. And they're, they're and the, and they're heading towards the freaking um, Fortress of Solitude. And and Miss Martian's like, well, you know, bio ship is connected to the Fortress of Solitude, so that they won't see us coming. There's not gonna be any alerts. Unfortunately, they don't realize Emerald Empress Ursa Zod, Zod's wife, has been selected to become the Emerald Empress, and now she can sense with the with the eye. She can sense them coming, and I honestly thought when Saturn Girl realized what was happening that they somehow all got out of the battleship before I got hit. No, they all they all crashed. All of them are, are crashed. Superman stands up. And Zod goes to him, and I should have seen this coming just because with Krypton being destroyed, there's not hardly any Kryptonians. And especially now with the fact that it seems like all the Kryptonians who are stuck in the Venom Zone, they're going to be stuck there unless Zod decides to take the, bring them out, which I'm assuming he will. But they're still stuck there. But he's, he doesn't want to fight Superman. He wants him to kneel before me. He wants him to kneel before Zod himself so that they could turn the world in and honor Krypton and make it like a version of Krypton. What Zod, of course, would want to do always. That's what Zod wants to do. Of course, pass, but then they get the, they get Kryptonite and he, there's no fight. I was, I was hoping for a fight and I think there might still be a fight. I don't think, obviously I don't think Superman's going to die in the next episode. My super point. I'm curious to how that's going to, how his mind's going to break and him not do it. But I want to see Superman fighting Zod. I really hope we get to see that because that would be fantastic. Come on. But, Everything just went to shit again. Again. Now, in the opening there, we had already seen this before because um, Forager, her will was so strong, her hand broke out of that, that I forget what they called it, the box that had, like, the, the, you're, like, phasing in and out or whatever, like, you're stuck, and that's what was happening to him in the last episode. When she got the ring from Tomar Ray, um, when he passed, unfortunately, rest in peace. <laughs> I hate the fact they killed him. But she broke her hand out of the phasing out. So instead of... It broke out. Then she got the ring. She did the same thing with the ring and shot and hit um, all of uh, all of Zod. <laughs> um, but then, of course, she got stopped. But she was able to break through again. But everything just going to... Everything just... Mm, it's going to shit. You think everything's going to great? Like I said, the battleship and they go, all go... No, no. So I really liked how the boom tomb closed and then it reopened and they're all five sitting there going like, oh God. So they have to fight. They were actually getting the upper hand in that fight. Then that creature shows up, of course, from the Phantom Zone that actually attacked Connor and caused the, the, the cuts or whatever on his chest. And at the time, it didn't hurt him. He's in the Phantom Zone. There's no, there's no pain, I would say. There's probably no pain. I'm not really sure. But until he, get, of course, when he got to Earth, when he walked out of the boom tube onto that planet is when the cuts op- like opened up and blood coming out of course but then he started healing when he got to earth but the creature showed up again and that one woman that was being tasked to go get with to get zod's armies 
they're in like the middle of the boom tube where they go from the phantom zone form to their actual form she gets pulled back and the creature grabs her arm and takes her away implying we're not going to see her again i don't even know who she was <laughs> but she's gone now um yet yeah, th this is not good i'm not sure i'm not sure what's going to happen like here's the thing there is a lot of heroes that are still out there that have not been attacked by zod yet because we had of course a bunch of group of heroes including some of the legion that are here in this timeline being taken out they're out laying out near the entrance of uh, the forces of solitude but we have a lot of heroes we, we have a lot of different heroes that have yet to come about so i'm assuming i, I don't know if this is going to happen but i'm assuming that we were, we're going to see a good amount of heroes pop up for this episode our next episode because i feel like zod's going to get his people out maybe and we're going to need all the heroes to come together to take out zod to take out his house of zod i feel like that's going to occur maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm not i don't i don't know i don't know all i know i love this episode it was tense i don't think like and i'll recap real quick i don't think nightwing is dead i think that was a trick and i think rocket is alive she somehow protected herself with her force field um yeah we need we need help <laughs> We need help. Be, but the thing is with Zod, with him Superboy, him wanting Superboy to kill Superman, I feel like that's going to be the opening of next week's episode, the finale. So if he wants to get his people out, he has to do it um, rather soon if we're going to have a big showdown. But maybe the episode's not going to be a big showdown. Maybe that's not what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be more about Connor turning back to the light, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> so that he can uh, go against Zod and not kneel before Zod and be against Zod. Because I thought that was going to occur at some point in this episode. And I was wrong. It actually double, triple down, if you will. So, yeah. It's crazy, though. I almost forgot to mention because I mentioned it briefly in the middle there. Was that Ursa Zod got picked to be Emerald Empress. I'm like, what? <laughs> but she was chosen. She was chosen for a reason. And I'm wondering... If she's going to turn on her husband. I was thinking that too. It's kind of like a theory. Like, what if she turned on her husband? I don't know if she would, but maybe. Maybe she turns on her husband going, well, I'm actually stronger than you if she senses she is. So I should be running shit. Should be kneel before the house of Ursa Zod. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to do that, but that would be interesting. So what do you think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Are you excited for the finale of uh, Young Justice Phantoms? Are you hopeful for that Season 5 renewal? Whatever thoughts you have, guys, let me know in the comments below. I cannot believe that we're almost finished with this season. It's been a crazy journey. I'm not ready for it to end, but man, I've been loving the hell out of the show. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.